This game is a simple tool uh, for dissemination of technology to the farmers in, a, in an easy and fun way. Uh, we have taken the concept of ancient uh, moksha patam game, commonly known as snakes and ladders, and we have transformed it so that it could detrain the people on agroecology. The ladders, they represent uh, good farming practices, while the snakes, they depict bad or harmful practices. Some years back, the German Agency for International Cooperation, the GIZ, announced an open competition. It was called Innovation Challenge 2021. Taking this opportunity, I teamed up with my collaborator in India, Dr. Anil Sharma, who is a very experienced extension expert. Um, so we submitted the idea based on, on this concept of snakes and ladders board game. There were about 40 submissions and uh, there were six concepts shortlisted. So we were also among those semi-finalists. And then we developed this concept and tested it in the field. And we went back in the final competition where jury really appreciated the unique attributes of this uh, concept. And uh, we won that competition and we got uh, this grant to implement the project in India and Tanzania. This has been a pretty interesting journey. We had several workshops uh, with the different stakeholders, with the extension uh, trainers, with research and advisory staff, as well as with the farmers. I was uh, very curious to know how the farmers react and when we introduced this concept to them they were really thrilled and they enthusiastically participated in it. For India this was a pretty common concept, everyone has played it since childhood but they enjoyed this adaptation for learning uh, on agroecology. While for Tanzanians, this was a totally new game concept. They were very keen to learn about it and they participated very nicely. After the workshop, the extension staff there said that we had uh, so many workshops, but this was the first one where we had a lot of fun and we learned a lot about the agroecological practices. So this is uh, encouraging and this keeps us going. You know, the agroecological and organic uh, farming practices, they are knowledge intensive. And that means to build that knowledge base, we need to repeat our messages. And that is usually not possible. So this game helps in reiteration of messages. When uh, you play as a group of farmers or in your family, um, it triggers discussion. You have discussion about different practices. Why to do that? Why not to do that? Um, and uh, it also strengthens the role of uh, women and uh, younger generation in farming decision making. The project certainly achieved its uh, objectives very well and uh, we even went a step further and we have uh, painted the game on a floor at the training center in India where the trainings are now regularly conducted and farmers really enjoy this way of learning rather than uh, sitting in a lecture room. Recently, we had the annual day of our Hugo P. Cecchini Institute uh, at uh, BFH uh, Hafu. There we played this game with the participants of this event and uh, we got very interesting feedback. Uh, we got also suggestions to improve it further. The game in its current form is tailored to organic cotton producers in India and Tanzania, but it is uh, uh, very easy to adapt it to other contexts. So based on the feedback, we are looking forward to adapting it further, improving it further and uh, uh, scaling it up in other geographies and other contexts. Kirimohai! Pamba!